So in this video, we need to find the shaded area that is trapped between y equals x squared take away 4x and the horizontal lines of y equals 0 at the x-axis and y equals 12. Okay, so this shaded region here. Now, before we go any further, we need to um, find some points here. Uh, I'm going to need to know what that point there is. I'm also going to need this point here and this point here. Okay, so first of all, let's find that point. So that is when uh, the curve is crossing the x-axis, so that is when y is 0. So 0 is equal to x squared take away 4x. So factorise that, bring the x out of a single bracket. And so x is 0, or x is 4. So this point is 4, and that's 0. OK. Right, now to find where the line y equals 12 intersects y equals x squared take away 4x, we're going to put 1 equal to the other, like so. Subtract 12 from both sides. And then we can factorise that. So that would be x take away 6, x plus 2 is equal to 0. And that implies that x is minus 2, or x is 6. So here is minus 2, here is 6. OK, so now strategy. How am I going to work out the shaded area? Well, the thing that springs to mind is to work out the area of this rectangle, and then subtract the area between the curve and the x-axis there and there. OK, and that should, once I've subtracted those two kind of triangular kind of shapes away, I'll be left with the bit that I want. Now notice that the quadratic curve that we have is symmetrical, and that distance is 2, and that distance is 2. So that means that this area has to be the same as that area there. So I only need to find one of them and then double it. OK, and then subtract that away from the area of the rectangle. So the area will be the area of the rectangle, which is from minus 2 up to 6, so that's 8 times by 12. So 8 times by 12, and then I need to take away the area between the curve and the x-axis. So I'll go with these values here, 4 and 6. So from 4 to 6 of the x squared take away 4x, now, if I just take away one of them, that would just be that piece. But, as I just said, that piece is the same size, so I could just take away two lots of that integral. OK. So, we have 8 lots of 12. So, 12 eighths of 96. And then take away two lots of... So, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, so x cubed over 3 take away 2x squared, evaluated between 4 and 6. So we have our 96, take away 2 lots of, OK, so open up brackets, ready to substitute in. We've got uh, 6 cubed divided by 3, so 72, take away uh, 2 lots of 36, so 72. Okay, that's an easy bracket to uh, evaluate. And then substituting 4, we're going to have 4 cubed, so 65 over 3. Take away 2 lots of uh, 4 squared, so 2 lots of 16, so that's 32. Okay, so we have 96, take away 2 lots of, so that's 0, take away that. So 0, take away 64 over 3, take away 32. So that's 32 over 3. So times by 32 over 3. So 96, take away 2 lots of 32 over 3, is 224 over 3. And that is the exact uh, value of the shaded area. 